hi everyone welcome to this channel my name is alexandra aka jeff pearls is in the building i hope you guys are well today i want to bring you guys a word that i believe uh, the lord wants me to share with you all today and uh, it is from scripture okay and the lord says in this season of your life be selective of the information you share with the people around you of the information you share with the people around you. Go with me to 1 Samuel chapter 10. And let us read a little bit uh, from verse 1. Then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, it is not because the Lord had anointed you commander over his inheritance. When you have departed from me today, you will find two men by Rachel's tomb in the territory of Benjamin and Zelza, and they will say to you, the donkeys which you went to look for have been found. And now your father has ceased caring about the donkeys and is worrying about you saying what should i do about my son let's pause for a minute because i think i want to read um chapter 9 verses 27 so that i can um really um explain why the lord said what he said to me okay so in chapter 9 and verse 27 it says and they were going down to the outskirts of the city Samuel said to Saul, tell the servant to go on ahead of us. And he went on, but you stand here a while that I may announce to you the word of the Lord of God. So verse chapter 9, verse 27, Samuel told Saul to let his servant go ahead of him that he may speak to him what the Lord had put on his heart to tell him, okay? Um, mind you, God wanted to make sure that Saul was, in the, was not in the presence of anyone else when he received the word of God on his life, okay? So to this, in this season, be mindful of the information you share with others, okay? So if you read the whole scripture in chapter 10, you will see that this is where Samuel went on to tell him the signs he will see that will follow after his, his anointing, okay, as king. And when you go down to chapter 16, from chapter 10, when you go down to verse 16, sorry. So Saul said to his uncle, he told us plainly that the donkeys had been found, but about the matter of the kingdom, he did not tell what Samuel had said, okay? His own uncle, he said nothing to him about what Samuel told him, okay? So the Lord is saying to you today, in this season of your life, things are gonna shift, things are gonna sh change and you have to be mindful of the information you share with others and who you share the information with. Not everyone is allowed to your next, not everyone is allowed to have access to this information, to this next level. And um, let me just say this. When, when we, when as, as prophetic voices for the Lord, we know that when God speaks to us, he first speaks to us to examine our own lives before we 
bring the word to someone else which means when when god gives you a word you're not you're not supposed to um automatically um think that it's for someone else and not yourself sometimes yes he does tell you this is exactly for who it's for he tells you exactly who the word is for but other times when god gives you scripture when god gives you a word when god speaks to you in a dream he first wants you to examine your own life and then as you examine your own life you pray about the word he will instruct you to release the word so that others as well who are who are in his will okay will hear and understand and heed the word of god they will heed the word of god because they are in his will and his plan for their life so i want you guys to read the scripture over again for yourselves which is in first samuel chapter 10 and it's from the first chapter first verse sorry uh, up until the 16th verse, but also chapter 9, verse 27, because that's where you see that Samuel told the, um, Samuel told Saul to send his servant ahead of them so that he could give him the word of God for his life while he was in his presence alone with no one else around. So it was up to Saul to share what he was told or not because he was not in the he he no one else had access to the information but Saul so um let me see if that's all um yeah that's the word for today I hope this word blesses you and I'll see you in my next video bye for now